So this is going to be your love reading for the month of October. I know, it's the nine. But here I am, guys. This is going to be for your sun, moon, and rising sign, Virgo. What do we have for my Virgos for the month of October? Sun, moon, rising. Virgos need to know about it. We have Ten of Wands, laying down the burden and uh, temperance, okay? Get, getting balanced. Getting balanced. Laying down what no longer serves you, you know? Things that are not raising your vibration, in actuality lowering your vibration, let it go. Let it go. There's a need for you to get balanced here, okay? I'm going to put these cards back in the desk, deck because I actually wanted to pull. Um, I'm going to lay these over here, actually. I'm not going to put them back in. I'm going to go ahead and pull some lover oracle cards for you guys. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Release. Release and let it go. Whatever it is. Hurt. Hard feelings. Let it go. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Let things flow naturally. Let things happen naturally is what they're saying to me. You know, when things happen, whether negative or positive, they're, they're happening for a reason. They're happening for a reason here. And then we have... When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. There's, there are always lessons. That's what this life is about. Lessons to be learned. Okay? Let those burdens go. Healing. Getting grounded. Getting centered in yourself. Healing past issues. And dropping those things that, you know, lower your vibration, make you feel unworthy because you are so worthy. So worthy. Okay. Let's see what other messages come out for Virgo for October. Double card, obsessions, codependency, um, highly passionate about something. But we'll see where this goes. Sitting on top of 
life is a series of constantly shifting sh ugh, shifting cycles. Don't resist change. Don't hold on to things too tightly. Because I feel like it's something, someone, that, um, that you're holding on to. Let them go. If it's meant to be, you know, they'll come back. They'll come back the right way. And so will you. Yeah, I feel like, and this could possibly be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, but I feel like the person that walked away from you, that possibly deceived you, lied to you, stole from you, you are almost to the point of obsessing over what happened with them. Why did it happen? And you're needing to, to, you know, let that go. Let that go. Let it be a lesson, you know, learned. And um, try to pick up the pieces, like, you know, within yourself. For others of you, this is you just holding on to your partner and watching their every move. They cannot move without you like <laughs> hovering over them. Let them breathe. You need to breathe. You know, when we join with somebody in a relationship, yeah, we're coupled, but you know, we're individuals first. So when you have your own space and you're allowed to, you know, be who you are and they are allowed to be who they are as well, then when you guys come together, it's a happy union most of the time. But when you try to hold on too tightly to someone, you know, that can push them away. So try to let go of that. King of Swords, Knight of Cups. Yeah. I feel like this King of Swords is... <laughs> this is funny. I feel like you were... In the relationship that this King of Swords left and stole something from you, be it something tangible or be it your heart, they stole something from you and you're obsessing over it here, but they left, but you just love them so much. You love them so much till now, you're, you're saying to yourself, you, you keep concentrating on this incident where, you know, I gave you this love, I offered my love to you, I showered you with, with my love and affection, and this is how you did me, kind of thing. It's how I feel. And this King of Swords is looking so smug. So smug. And for some reason, I usually like the King of Swords. But sitting here next to this Seven of Swords, he is like the creep of creeps for me right now. And I feel like he knew he manipulated the situation and how you felt about him possibly yeah but now you know you're still wanting to offer him your love I see you're still wanting to um just be careful with that be careful with that because 
with this devil energy here, I don't feel like, I feel like there's, there's not much more that, um, hmm, that you could take from this, um, this energy where you feel neglected or feel taken advantage of, or, you know, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person, this person did not, when, when you guys were together, I feel like there was you wanted a level of commitment that they they made you feel like you guys were headed there but you never felt like you guys were really headed there like they were pulling the the wool over your eyes um i feel like you were really trying to work on this this relationship but this king of swords you know kind of had one foot in and one foot out the door and kind of scooted out when things got tough. And you're still looking at it like, but what about the work that I put into this? What about the love that I gave you? What about the years I spent with you? Also feel like this um, <laughs> there no stop it. Also feel like this King of Swords knew at one point when he left that you were going you were going to blame yourself basically um because he's looking quite smug but i feel like now he he's he is um thinking twice about that i feel i feel like he's thinking twice about that and i feel like he also thinks that you know he wasn't building with you he left you out in the cold, but he also feels like you're no longer out in the cold. Maybe that you have somebody else that you're trying to build something with here. And then he's going to come back in you know, and try to charm your pants off once you get settled into um, possibly another relationship with somebody or, you know, start dating again. He's coming back because he knows what it takes to get you back. He knows what it is that you want. He knows what it is that you've been asking for from him. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. He's going to come back with an offer. But the thing is, you know, he's this king of swords up here. But he's coming to apologize. Small offering as a page. Small offering as a page. And if this is the way that you feel, 
I feel like you no longer want to build with this man. You love him because, or this person, because you love them because you guys probably have spent, you know, a lot of time together. You spent years together. You loved him. You, you invested a lot into this relationship. But um, you know that he is your vice with this devil card. You know this. So I feel like, too, that for some of you, you don't want this relationship. You're discovering yourself. Treating yourself. Knowing who to give your love to. Knowing where to invest. No longer feeling left out in the cold. Moving on. Then you have the strength card under the bottom. This is somebody that's been through something and having the strength to push through it. Push through it. This is you. This is you, Virgo. Having the strength to push through this situation, to lay down those burdens, to get yourself balanced. Stop building where there is a faulty foundation. Don't expect things from people that are not able to give it. Yes, not willing to invest anything else substantial into this person. Not gonna do it. Invest in yourself. This is investing in yourself. This is this is getting needing to get balanced in yourself. The hierophant. Knowing where you stand. Here again, this is all about, you know, getting grounded. Because the Hierophant stands for, you know, you know, you know what it is that you believe in. You know what you'll accept. You know what you want. You know what you want out of a relationship. And you need to draw those boundaries and hold your standards regardless. Building yourself. Balance yourself out. Don't give your energy away. Don't just give it away. Balance yourself out. And the Nine of Wands, that's right. Nine of Wands, Nines are single cards. Nine of Wands is defending what you have left. Your integrity, your dignity, your self-respect, your self-love, your energy. Defend it. Keep it. Get balanced. I'm going to pull an angel affirmation card for you guys to close out this reading. Actually, two came out, so we'll go ahead and go with those. First one is Clear Your Vibes, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Honor Your Feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. All right, Virgo friends, this is your reading for October, and I will be seeing you guys, talking with you soon. Um, I, just, I just have to say, um, love yourself first. Love yourself first. And sometimes it's so hard to do, especially when you've had a difficult childhood, you've had difficult relationships, 
um, whether it's familiar relationships or with whether it's intimate relationships sometimes we get so lost in other people till we forget about ourselves so um, honor your feelings honor your feelings here okay look at this card your feelings matter too your emotions matter speak to you soon Virgo Bye now.